Hey, Dr. Amy here, and in this video, I'm showing you 14 foods that lower your risk of breast cancer. If you've been diagnosed with breast cancer, or if you're at high risk of developing breast cancer, then you're gonna wanna know about these 14 foods. Your food matters. You can use your food to either fuel your cancer or fight your cancer. You get to decide. Now, of course, you cannot 100% guarantee that you'll never be diagnosed with breast cancer or that you'll never have a breast cancer recurrence, but you can lower your risk. So if you're the type of person who wants to do absolutely everything in your power to make sure that cancer never comes back, then you need to start with these 14 foods today. The evidence is really clear. There's a definite path to follow in terms of nutrition. But still, oncologists and doctors say, Don't worry about it. Just eat whatever you want. This is no longer adequate in terms of supporting breast cancer survivors or reducing your risk of cancer. So let's dive in, starting with number one, mushrooms. Certain types of mushrooms have been studied for their potential to have anti-cancer properties. These mushrooms contain compounds that have beta-glutan and polysaccharides, which have been shown to reduce inflammation and fight off cancer cells. Add mushrooms into your meals by sauteing them as a side dish, or add them into your soups or to your sauces, or you can include them as an alternative to meat. Mushrooms are commonly underused by cancer survivors, and this is a great option to start adding into your nutrition today. The second food that you need to include is flaxseed. Flaxseed is rich in ligands, which is a plant compound that has estrogen-like properties. Now, if you're a breast cancer survivor with hormone positive breast cancer, then some serious red flags are probably going up for you right now. Why would you wanna eat foods that have compounds that are like estrogen? That's actually the opposite of what you're trying to do with your long-term treatment and your anti-hormonal therapy. Many women who work with me in the Cancer Freedom Program come to me with this exact same concern. But these compounds do not raise the estrogen in your body. They actually do the opposite. These ligands may actually suppress or block the estrogen in your body, which has been linked to these types of breast cancer. Not only does that make it a safe option for breast cancer survivors, it makes it an option which you must add. So start adding flaxseed to your diet today. It's great to use it to top off cereal. Flaxseed also contains omega-3 fatty acids, fiber, and antioxidants. You can add it to your smoothies, your yogurt, your oatmeal, or it can be used as an egg substitute when you're baking. But on to the next food that lowers your risk of breast cancer, berries. I've said it before and I'll say it again, berries are a great option to lower your risk of cancer. Let me tell you why. Berries are not only delicious, but they're packed with antioxidants, vitamins, and fiber. They've been shown to offer protection for various types of cancer, including breast cancer. Berries like blueberries, raspberries, or blackberries are known for having phytochemicals, which help fight off free radicals and lower your risk of cancer. Enjoy a handful of fresh berries as a snack or add them to your yogurt, your cereal, or your smoothies. Sticking with fruit, here is the next food to help you fight off breast cancer, citrus fruit. Citrus fruits like oranges, lemons, and limes are high in vitamin C. This antioxidant supports the immune system and helps lower your risk of cancer. Citrus fruits also contain other beneficial compounds like flavonoids, which have been shown to lower your risk of cancer. You can enjoy citrus fruits by just having them as a snack or adding the juice into your water or into salad dressing. Citrus fruit was something I found so satisfying when I personally was in cancer treatment. Many cancer survivors struggle with a metallic taste in your mouth. Even the taste of water can be off-putting, but orange or lemon water can get rid of this gross taste in your mouth during cancer treatment. Now, if you're a breast cancer survivor, you should know that grapefruit might not be the best option for you. This fruit can actually interact with tamoxifen, making the tamoxifen less effective. If you're on tamoxifen, then you'll want to avoid both grapefruit and grapefruit juice. But if you're on an aromatase inhibitor like a nashrazole, letrozole, or exemestane, then grapefruit is completely and totally safe. 
But back to tamoxifen, and if you're on tamoxifen, then you're going to want to avoid this next food, but only in supplement form. It's safe to include in your diet as a cancer survivor, even while on tamoxifen. Turmeric. Turmeric is a vibrant yellow spice that's commonly used in Indian cuisine. It contains a powerful compound called curcumin. Curcumin has been extensively studied for its powerful anti-inflammatory properties. It's been shown to be helpful in reducing the growth of breast cancer cells and inhibiting tumor development. You can incorporate turmeric into your diet by adding it into stir fries, into soups, or even into smoothies. But also keep in mind that curcumin's bioavailability is actually enhanced when you eat it with black pepper or with healthy fats. Now onto the next food to include, and that's onions or leeks. Onions or leeks belong to the allium family of vegetables, which also includes garlic. They contain sulfur compounds and flavonoids, which have been shown to lower the risk of breast cancer. Adding chopped onions or leeks to your soups, your stir fries, not only tastes good, but it's gonna help you fight off cancer cells. And the next food that's up, well, I already gave you a hint about this one, but it's garlic. Garlic not only tastes great in your food, but it also contains organosulfur compounds, which has been shown to reduce several types of cancer, including breast cancer. These compounds have been shown to have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, which actually helps to repair cell damage and protect you from cancer. Including garlic in your diet can be a flavorful way to protect you against breast cancer. You can add minced garlic to your stir fries or to your soups to give you that extra protection. And the next food to eat to help protect you against breast cancer is seaweed. Seaweed such as nori or kelp is a nutrient dense food that has antioxidants, minerals, and iodine. It contains a compound which has shown potential in inhibiting cancer cells. You can incorporate seaweed into your diet by using it as a wrap for your sushi or just by eating it as a snack. That brings me to the next food to help you fight off breast cancer. Cruciferous vegetables. Broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale, cabbage. These vegetables all contain glycosinolates. They're high in fiber, vitamins, minerals, which have all been shown to lower your risk of breast cancer. Glycosinolates can be converted into anti-cancer compounds, which can actually detoxify you of harmful substances. It can reduce inflammation, inhibit tumor growth, and help prevent cancer. Try steaming or sauteing these vegetables to help preserve the nutrients within them. But we know that diets that are plant forward, meaning that the majority of what you eat is actually from plants, well, that is the best diet to help lower your risk of breast cancer. So the next food to fight off cancer, well, it needs to include more of that, and that's leafy green vegetables. Leafy greens like spinach, kale, or collard greens, well, they're packed with nutrients, antioxidants, and fiber, all which will help prevent breast cancer. These vegetables contain folate, which is a B vitamin that plays a critical role in DNA synthesis and repair. Including leafy green veggies in your diet can reduce your risk of breast cancer. Enjoy them in salads, add them to smoothies, or cook them down and eat them with eggs. Okay, but the next food to lower your risk of breast cancer, well, this is a good one, especially if you're struggling with a low appetite. Nuts and seeds. Almonds, walnuts, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds are all an excellent choice. These nuts and seeds contain ligands and omega-3 fatty acids. Both have been shown to reduce the risk of breast cancer. Snack on a handful of nuts or sprinkle them on top of a salad or oatmeal or a bowl of yogurt. But the key here is to stick to a small serving. You do not want to overeat on nuts and seeds, but by sticking to a small amount, you can actually reduce your risk of breast cancer. The next breast cancer fighting food is beans and legumes. This is a terrific cancer fighting food and hardly anyone is using them in their diet. Beans and legumes are things like lentils, chickpeas, black beans. They're an excellent source of plant-based protein, fiber, and cancer fighting compounds. These foods are also low in fat and high in antioxidants, which can also help you prevent breast cancer. 
You can incorporate them into your diet by adding them into soups or stews or using them to make a plant-forward burger. A breast cancer survivor that I work with in the Cancer Freedom Program really struggled to include more beans and legumes in her nutrition. She always thought that she disliked them, but she knew they would lower her risk of cancer. So we got creative. We made hummus and we added it to her sandwiches. We put them in the air fryer and popped them up, which made a great salad topping. Or we included refried beans on tacos. After trying some options, she was able to include beans and legumes more significantly in her diet and her fiber went up. All of this is actually actively lowering her risk of breast cancer. If you want to start to make strategic changes to lower your risk of breast cancer, then you need to get your free copy of 15 simple cancer recovery recipes for women. You can get your free copy right now. I'll put the link below so you can get yours. But the next food to include is pomegranates. Pomegranates are packed with antioxidants, which have been shown to lower your risk of breast cancer. Studies on pomegranate extract have been shown to inhibit the growth of breast cancer cells and help prevent breast cancer. You can eat pomegranate seeds as a snack or add them to a salad or even drink it just as a juice with no sugar added. And that actually brings me to the last food to lower your risk of breast cancer, carrots. Carrots are an excellent source of beta carotene, a precursor to vitamin A. Beta carotene has been associated with reducing the risk of breast cancer. Carrots also provide dietary fiber and other beneficial compounds, which are great for overall health. You can just eat them raw as a snack or even include them in a soup or a stew. Okay, but now that you know which foods to include to lower your risk of breast cancer, you now need to know which foods to avoid. That's exactly why I'm linking up this next video here on foods that fuel cancer. Click the link here. I'll see you in the next video.